This is Steve. He's a Foley artist. Hey, sorry I'm late. Uh, did I miss anything? No, we're just taking a look at the tape you sent over to us. The job of a Foley artist is to recreate sounds for movies. Pretty funny stuff, don't you think? Yeah, not bad, but I think I can make it a little funnier. Really? Huh, excellent. So Foley artists like Foley. Steve add all the natural sound effects, like footsteps and crashing CDs, after the movie is filmed. When an object makes a noise, your brain automatically stores the image and the sound together. So the next time you hear the sound, the brain will automatically conjure up the image and vice versa. When Steve sees something on the screen, like a banana peel being stepped on, he's trained his brain to ask, what else could make the sound of a banana peel? And then it's all trial and error, until he finds just the right sound. In this case, a wet paper towel is squishy, wet, and slimy. All the things you would associate with a banana peel. Without the smell, of course. Thankfully, it's just water and not chunks of banana. Another reason for using props and not the real object. Oh, pretty good. So what used to sound like this... ...now sounds like this. Five-second roll. Perfect, that's amazing. Everything sounds exactly the way it should sound. Now there is... One more thing I'd like to add to the movie, if that's okay. Stage is yours. Thank you very much. <laughs> this special effects stuff is so cool. It's amazing to know how far movie makers go to bring this stuff to life. Again, shall we? Whew. Not again! Whoa! First a, a windstorm and then a blizzard. What's next? Rain. In case you haven't already guessed, all this weather we've been doing has been fake. Just like makeup artists can disguise faces, movie makers can disguise the weather. Let's back this up and show you what we mean. What the audience can't see doesn't exist. So it's easy to hide things like leaf blowers and fans just out of view. In Hollywood, that's called framing off. And since wind by itself is invisible, loose clothing and blowing leaves add a lot to this effect. For a wintry look, snow blankets are used to cover the ground, and canned snow can be sprayed pretty much anywhere. But the real cell comes from the blowing stuff, so keep that fan and blower handy. This stuff is specially made for the movie biz. It's made of starch, so it's biodegradable. It'll wash right away. What's next? For rain, you just need a little H2O. Okay, a lot of H2O. Special effects experts have cool rain towers that stand high overhead and sprinkle water down from the sky so it'll look more realistic and cover a larger area. And finally, for theatrical fog, pros just use bigger versions of party store fog machines. Hot metal plates vaporize water into a fine mist, and special chemicals like glycol are added to make the mist thicker and last longer. In the world of movie weather, anything is possible. All you need is a little creativity and be willing to clean up all kinds of messes. Hurricane! Coming up. Jumping! Andrew may be Whoa! flying high, Whoa! but I'll be having a blast with movie explosions. <laughs>